Hello, this is Italian Oraculum. I'm Danilo. Welcome and welcome back. Today I want to unbox the Horror Tarot Deck and Guidebook from Insight Edition by Abigail Larson, Minerva Siegel and Aria Mitter. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong and it seems like uh, they wrote the guidebook while Abigail Larson uh, illustrated the cards now here's the rest of the box we have some spooky sort of cryptids all around here we have some of the cards let's see while i open the box please remember to subscribe leave me likes comment it really helps me keeping me motivated to do this video so the inside of the box shows us skulls knives wooden stakes Sickles, uh, some sort of lab bottle, a feather quill, spiders, some blood droplets, knives, I think I said that already, no, daggers, we have both knives and let's see, daggers, so two of them. And is this a natchet in English? Not sure. Anyway, so that's inside of the top. It seems the same. Let go of me. The same in the back. We have our cards holder the ribbon of course it's red let's see here is the guidebook and it seems kind of the standard size for the inside edition let's see so we have table of contents introduction understanding your tarot deck and then we go into the major arcana we have the <laughs> So we have a general description and then an upright reverse meaning, but I'm seeing there's no reference to the possible wolves or werewolves here. Why it seems like she's bleeding for, from her feet. So... Okay, so it seems like the description is a generic one for any sort of tarot deck. It's not necessarily connected to the illustrations. So, I mean, fine, but I would like to see something that describes what I'm looking at when especially when it's a a theme sort of deck then we have the minor arcana and we have just the upright and reverse meaning of course we then have some mm -hmm. okay so tarot reading Caring for your deck. Uh, 
which is more based on cleansing its energy preparing towards the tarot some prospect adding him shadow mm. exercise the demons deal with the devil this could be and i mean the names are nice i don't want to take away time reading them but let's see about the author so the illustrator i really love her illustrations honestly i'm starting to believe the the guidebooks are the weakest of these decks for me i tend to notice i don't really love them that much but anyway here we have our cards the back is the nice it's showing i believe a, a touch more orangey here on the screen but it's a dark red a frame sort of squared old timey card tile no edging and then we have our major arcana i don't want to go too close but maybe just a touch more so the fool the magician and oh the the names are metallic i think it's embossing but anyway it's a reflective metallic red for the names and it seems for the numbers but of course the fool does not have the zero so we don't have it in here i wonder if the card is going to be without the title although i kind of doubt it let's see I priestess empress it's definitely an horary twist on the motherly representation of the high priestess the emperor kind of dracula ish hierophant seems like a nun consorting with the demon lovers nice chariot strength hmm. i mean uh, usually we have a lion or another potentially dangerous and aggressive animal in the strength card so with the horror team deck that could have been fun to see maybe a hellhound or something like that they chose to give us a maybe serial killer with a nutshed or something sorry i need to it almost looks like the hat is a block of wood but it it's not it doesn't have the circles this is interesting like this is the situation where i would like to know what the illustrator was thinking was referencing was deciding to show us but i guess we'll never know he hermit will of fortune nice not necessarily horror as a depiction but definitely potentially horrifying as a result justice hangman death temperance i yes there's water but i mean we had that sort of mad scientist in the magician why we don't have some sort of poisoning in the temperance 
for a little bit more traditional depiction again i would love to see why the devil fine i mean they could have gone with it traditional devil we have already seen demons around here but the spider is definitely good as a as a symbol for the devil card the tower a little bit more spooky rather than chaos induced change but i suppose it works the star has a ouija board that would have been nice to see in the guidebook i mean an explanation for it some sort of reference some sort of comment the moon nice with the werewolf the sun creepy possibly flesh eating clown fine judgment zombies it checks out and the world we have some sort of eldritch monstrosity con it seems consuming do you think this is earth or is a generic planet because it seems like it is earth but it's sort of almost grayscaled uh, actually i think this is north america so yeah it is earth this is the king of swords and we have a robot i suppose there are robots as monsters in horror movies so that's fine i don't at this point i would like to see more robots in swords like they could go with uh, theme villains and horror elements based on the suits but i'm already seeing a glowy necklace a devil hand uh, and what it seems to be a regular woman so i'm not sure they're going to do that for the queen then we have the knight as a gargoyle page as a zombie then we go to the ace a dagger two okay these are not necessarily the most illustrated miners but i think that for the inside edition this is technically not a Deck by this by their standards at least the swords i really hope it's not going to change suddenly with the other suits i like this honestly i may be preferring an actual skeleton with all these swords rather than a person in this version of the ten of swords this sort of depiction then we have king of pentacles which seems to be some sort of evil sasquatch thing this girl with the red shoes kind of reminds me of dorothy queen of pentacles we have baba yaga or a baba yaga inspired witch knight of pentacle crazy person page of pentacle monsters under the bed and what seems to be tendrils of shadow people fine this i really don't like i have a thing against mutilation i really cre like ugh. but I mean it's a horror deck and it kind of reminds with the with the pentacle here it kind of reminds me of fear street so it's it could trigger an an interesting connection for me the two the three okay this seems to be already more peepish than the swords which i don't necessarily understand 
this is nice as horror team deck six of pentacles this is a a choice i understand and i think it's cool seven eight nine uh, okay like kind of sleep paralysis demon shadow creature and 10 again a little bit more peepish and i see that it's a little too close to the border this title but i'm nitpicking king of wands the phantom of the opera okay now i want the other classic monsters for the other three kings i want dracula i want the mummy i want the werewolf and i want frankenstein i know with the phantom of the opera we would need a fifth suit but maybe dracula being the most famous of them or being the most i want to say person like because the werewolf is not a person when it's the wolf and the creature is his own thing i don't know i i mean i like him as a king of wands i'm more and more confused by the generic sasquatch creature and especially by the robot previously shown but anyway queen of wands she's crying tears of blood so maybe she's a vampire maybe she's a reference to bloody mary i don't know the mummy as the knight as the page we have some sort of possessed evil doll ace of wands two of wands okay we are uh, once again less peepish than in the pentacles i suppose pentacles seem to be rather difficult to illustrate a little bit more i'm not sure again having some sort of comment on the actual picture on the actual artwork would have been nice it almost seems like they created the guidebook as a separate entity commission the illustrator with a oh various creatures watery creatures with a sort of evil merman for the king of cup nice uh, what i was saying like uh, the artist was given the prompt horror tarot deck and i think they've done uh, a really good job i don't understand the generic sasquatch and especially i don't understand the robot but i mean if i question uh, especially the robots are like one card and a half uh, of 78 cards i think it's good i think it's uh, successful although someone may argue that for a tarot deck that's generic horror maybe too many vampire adjacent creatures if not outright vampires nice the king or the knight sorry of cups as the headless horseman page of cups that is creepy enough i suppose ace of cups the two three four again this seems to be no maybe it's not more peepish than the others okay so the pentacle seems to be the most peepish cards of the minors i think fall closely by the cups and then uh, let's see mm. 
maybe the sword and then the wand seems to be the most illustrated suit hmm. anyway overall I like this deck honestly I don't really like the guidebook I I'll read it anyway I hope maybe for some cards at least the creature was named and if not I'm just gonna go with whatever it is that I can think of I can connect to the illustration the only other critique I can think of is the robot I, I honestly don't don't like it it's one robot overall sort of ghost demons monsters uh, vampires so mm, it seems disconnected there is also only one eldritch creature but uh, i can see it as being as it's being placed in the world i can see it being sort of the ultimate horror one is enough I, I also maybe the mad scientist for the magician when you have horror and you have witches and evil sorcerers I know I suppose this could be also an eldritch horror so I take that back but this almost looks more like temperance card material because if we think about the meaning of the cards the genius and the madness the madness that leads to a a revolutionary discovery but also causes the scientists to lose control of whatever they have discovered kind of works better i think than for the magician but that's just my opinion. I wanna try shuffle it. Oh, let me be. I wanna try shuffle it a little bit. The really smooth, soft. The glare. It's minimal. It's like a satiny finish. I suppose it's called. Let's see how it ripples. Now, of course, these are new, so oh, say it's, it's good for ripple shuffling as well. It's good. It's a good deck. I like the illustrations. I like the artist, so that that wasn't really a problem. I hoped the guidebook would be better, honestly and the choice of subject i would really love to know why because of course i can hope for it to change and so kind of pointless saying again why the robot and why the generic sasquatch creature or the mad scientist for the magician uh, yada 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 but here it is, the Horror Tarot. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.